This video is about updating your Hyundai infotainment system with the April update to the new look. So in Google, just type in Hyundai April up update and you'll see the first one here saying official Hyundai Motors navigation update website. It will guide you to this website. On here, you'll see your notifications for the latest update. As you can see, it's still April. Your shortcut, your update guide, and customer support in case you need it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the navigation updates. And in here, you'll pick which one you need for the Windows or for a Mac. And it'll give you instructions on how to update it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to pick Windows as I'm on a Windows PC. Once your download is complete, click on it or open it in this case. and run the download. I'm gonna click United States. I'm gonna click Hyundai, English, accept, and this is a folder. It's gonna download. Once your update is complete, you'll get to this screen. Here you type in your email address, your password that you use to log in to Hyundai, and you log in for next steps. Or you could also go as a guest login if you do not want to use your own logins or don't have one. Once signed in, you'll get to this screen, which will say update files must be downloaded and saved to your hard disk first and then must be copied to a portable storage device. Save the files in this hard disk storage location. It'll give you a location where you wanna store it. This can be changed, but I'm gonna go ahead and download this fine, and I'm gonna hit okay. In here, it'll again tell you how to find your navigation system, which is fine. It'll ask you, you have to search for your model, for your system, and then hit OK. So we're going to do that. OK, so I'm going to do Sonata. Yep. Once you have selected your file folder for download, hit OK or start, and it'll format that particular disk, which in my case is a flash drive. And now it is downloading. Once your download is complete, you'll get to this menu. And here you can see the new updates and it'll tell you what to do. So it looks like you go to setup, uh, go to general, and then hit SW info update, and then on update. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's hit okay. And the latest update file I have been downloaded to the hard disk. Please update the latest map data to the vehicle navigation system using the identified portal portable device okay so we're in the car so let's start the car up and hit okay for that um, okay so now that the car is on let's insert our usb flash drive like that Oh, it goes, by the way, in the USB section. Uh, okay. Now, there, something happens. Okay. Update to the next version now. Yes. Okay. Rear camera and blue link will not be available. Okay. So I am going to go with the quick update. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but I think the quick update should be fine. Okay, okay, update. Okay, and that's, I believe, it. I think I can turn the vehicle off. I 
we'll keep it in this uh, standby mode where accessories are still working. So 25 minutes and the car should stay on for about 30. So let's get back in about 20 minutes or so. Okay, as you can see, it is updating. It says update in progress. Turning off the power or ejecting the device containing the update files during the update may result in data loss. Please wait until the update is complete. So we are just gonna wait. Okay, so it looks like we are getting close to done. It's been, yeah, about 15, 20 minutes. So uh, almost done, let's see what happens. Here we are, this is the final screen. Once it's done, so it's asking what's new. So let's go ahead. You can also scan the QR code and uh, it'll, I believe, tell you everything. So uh, I'm gonna do that right now. I should grab my other phone. And scan the QR code there and here we go so it gives a update about what is new and how everything works with the new menus and all that fun stuff which I'll go over later so let's do details and yeah, it comes again, software update, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, it does have a new look up here, very Android-ish like. I'm not sure if there is a connection or not, but let's go back. And this is it. Interesting. I do like this. They're all blue and a bit lit up. Pretty much the same and this is the home screen so okay okay so instead of the colorful stuff now it's all I guess just blue it does not give you the five days anymore I believe but hmm. okay so here it is the update this is how you do it Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's driving. It stays in this mode. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. I did used to like the previous setup with the three sections. The map on the side, or this looks like a big Tron looking map. I'm not exactly sure how useful this is because it doesn't give you really, you know, the streets or whatsoever, nothing really special, but it's, I guess, an animation. But that's about it. Not, again, really sure if I like it or not, but at the end of the day, uh, I have to get this update done regardless. So um, it is what it is. I have to get used to it. Let's go and look at the map here. Um, yes. That looks, uh, okay, looks a bit more clean. This looks pretty much the same, a bit more color streamlined. Um, nothing else. Oh, there's a display off. Oh, that's, uh, I actually do like that. I'm not sure if that option was available for us as well, but I would not mind driving like this, I guess. Um, it's interesting. Maybe not, I don't know. Reorder icons, nope. And this is it, okay. So what do you guys think? Have you guys tried it? Anything you like, dislike, let me know. Any interesting parts? I see climate. I have not seen this before. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Maybe I haven't played enough with it enough. Let's, uh, let's have a look. So this is on. Okay, so hmm. Does this just give you I believe it just gives you an update. There it is. Can you click on it? No. Can't really click on any of this. It's just an update.
update on what's happening with your climate, which is right there as well. So, again, not really sure what Hyundai is thinking with this, but we'll go with it. Um, let's turn this off, go back to... Yeah, everything else looks pretty much the same. Nothing... Uh, Media, media was a big one. Let's see what they did with this. So let's go to radio. And uh, uh, yeah, I I do not know what to think about this. I don't like it. I don't think I like it. I, yeah, I do not know if I like this or not. But we'll, we'll give this a go. What about regular media controls? This is, uh, this does look different. I am uh, not sure if what this exactly okay so Bluetooth audio will be when your phone is connected setup is just a regular setup again display anything else you can do with display no it's pretty much the standard thing screen theme and layout let's have a look analog digital or none Okay, screen saver, split screen. Hmm. Again, where? Not sure if I like this at all. I do not know what is exactly. Okay, so click my radio and then I guess you can, I guess, I guess you can have it like this yourself if you like this. Um, what else? Um, phone projector, projection. That's for CarPlay. Okay, sure. So if I have, for example, can I pull it up? Nope. Okay. Interesting. Not sure what to make of this anymore. But I guess you could keep it like this. Not exactly sure. Hello. Peace.